Welcome back. There are cameras everywhere today. Most of us who have a mobile phone have a camera with us everywhere we go. Small digital cameras instantly allow us to capture our memories in full color, and we can put them in our computers and send them out over the Internet, often without doing any processing on them at all. Via memory card and photography is cheap and easy. But there are photographers out there like Gavin Al who think that older photographic techniques which demand a lot more effort and expense bring a special quality to their work. Gavinel is a Hong Kong-based photographer. In his first solo exhibition, still sitting on the wall, he's reflecting on recent events in mainland China and Hong Kong. Chinese 要看回我們的家園,其實是跨過牆,我們在遠方才看得到,我們永遠變回。He sees the exhibition as, in part, a dialogue with a series of photographs by Chinese photographer Wang Feng, ten years ago. In his protest, Wang was reflecting the state of change in China, since it opened its doors to greater capitalism. 有一輯作品是自十年前的中國攝影師叫翁凡的一輯劇場的作品 all of the photos in the exhibition were made using the 19th century wet plate collodion process, invented in 1851 by Frederick Scott Archer. It can be a time consuming process. Even preparing the materials to begin work took two years. Gavin's not only interested in using retro processing techniques. He's also made his own camera, which he calls Mr. Sad. I Many of us are used to having cameras in our mobile phones, always portable, always there. Gavin's photography method is considerably less convenient. He likes to take not only Mr. Sad, but also a portable outdoor darkroom to the location. He says it forces him to focus more specifically on each image. The 
，每日就係到一至兩張相啦。咁所以你個專注力咧會喺翻個作品度，就唔會去咗其他地方，因為慢，所以專注。誒失板有另一樣嘢，佢可以捕捉到嗰、那個誒唔、呃、當時嗰一刻嘅環境啦。例如我啲作品，可能我做嘅時候落緊雨嘅，咁佢想有啲水點，或者可能、呃、有啲葉喺度吹咗落嚟，有黐咗落去啊，有啲痕跡。咁呢啲痕跡其實就係當時個環境俾我嘅一啲誒、呃、記錄咯。Gavin has also experimented with other techniques from the pioneering days of photography. He's made cyanotypes. And use the Van Dyke Brown process, so called because its images are reminiscent of Flemish painter Anthony Van Dyke. He sees that experimenting.